Welcome to the short tutorial on WebCal Plus, our website calendar creation software from contactplus.com. I'm going to show you how to take a simple, boring list of events with a date and maybe a description and translate them into a beautiful website, something that your website users will love you for. They'll want to come back to your website, look at your calendars, and they'll be organized. They'll be able to print these things and they'll be able to bring them into their own calendars. So let's show you how to do some of this stuff. What I have on the screen right now is just the main data entry screen. This is a screen where we add edit our events. We can do it here in a one month calendar and of course I can just drag and drop things back and forth between dates or I can go to the six month calendar and here in both of these ways I can actually edit the events that I need to. So let's take a look at a simple event that's already been added. Here's my event and as you can see at the top we have some simple things and a title, uh, a short name that's going to appear on the monthly screen, a date, a, uh, possibly a category and the categories are used I'll show you in a, in a little bit of course notes now these notes can be fancy like I show like I have right here with rich text formatting see all the colors and the fonts different sizes alignments and special characters all that will go onto your website automatically or you can have a very simple note with links and mail to's and everything else you have this you have optionally the location where this is going to be a one month icon that's going to appear right next to now we give you a bunch of icons by the way but this is going to appear right next to your uh, web event that uh, is on the screen and then we have this really neat option here for Google Maps so you can embed a map right into your calendar we have a, at the top here an event graphic image that you can pull with uh, along with your event if you'd like. Of course, this is all optional. And then you can have repeating dates. We make it real easy for you to put something in like on the first Thursday of every month or the last Wednesday of every other month. You know, you can, you can do those kinds of repeating events. And the cool thing is this software gives you the ability to add up to 200 different events in the sample so you can actually publish calendars on your website and not only can you put 200 events in a calendar you can have multiple calendars we can have a calendar of say for your boy scout troop a calendar for your girl scout troop a calendar for your soccer team a calendar for your church for your synagogue etc all these things are built in to the product and this will give you the ability to try it out before you decide to go say to our basic advanced or enterprise version. So this is a basic data entry screen and of course I can filter, we can move things around, we can we can compare, we can do all kinds of things with the software I'm not going to go into right now. I just wanted to sh show you the basic data entry and our settings screen which will give you the capability. Let's take a look at it really quick here. The, we have the ability say to put in the lunar calendar we have that here we have sunrise and sunset times open and closing hours we can publish that we can use the Jewish calendar we can put in candle lighting times Havdalah times and Saturday all these things are very simple so what you do you put your events in you customize the look and feel of your calendar you click on create you click on view to, to see if it looks good and then you upload it that's all you do and it's just an automatic basis so let's take a look at some calendars that you've already created uh, let's go here this is a calendar that came from the one we just are looking at as you can see we have sunrise sunset times so that's based on uh, our location a bunch of holidays in here now in the upper left here you see uh, how we have a date and we have uh, numbers in parentheses that's how many events we have in that particular date I can run the mouse right over any one of these events and you get that little pop-up giving me the date the time the location you know what it is that we're going to be a meeting here and we have a bunch of really nice artwork for your holidays we have the lunar calendar appearing in here sunrise sunset uh, we can look at uh, a scrolling view of our calendar and here's where we can see our Google map there you go there it's embedded very simply we have a bunch of instructions on how to do this it's very very simple to do uh, we can go to our 12 month and that gives us a big listing and everything's color-coded here of the dates now everything again 
is user modifiable by you. We've just got a ton of options in here. So if you want to change this, change the backgrounds, change the fonts, you can do that. Now, what happens if you have users that want to add events to the calendar? We can do that through our web event submission. Here is the form for that. You saw it a little bit earlier, but this is what it's going to look like. And you can password protect this so people, not anyone can come to your website and do it, but certain people can come. They can add an event. It'll get submitted to you via email, and you'll be able to automatically bring it into the calendar and then republish. Let's take a look at some other calendars here. We have a simpler one here, uh, just to give you an idea of, of what they can look like. And you, know, you can see that the colors changed a little bit here. The buttons, of course, they look very different. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Now, we also have the capability of categorizing. So, for example, in this sample calendar, I can do family, and you see families appear. I can go to personal, and it changes to personal, and then I can go now to work related. And you see the little numbers here change, or I can get all of them, all categories, and it'll give me work family and personal all in the same category. So you can do that with your uh, calendars as well or you can create them into separate totally different calendars altogether. So very simple I encourage you to come to our website at www.contactplus.com uh, if you have a Windows PC just download it it'll work on Vista, XP uh, all the uh, incarnations that uh, Microsoft has provided us and you'll be able to be up and running, be able to create your calendars, get them going, and you can certainly try it with our very liberal uh, policy of 200 events per calendar. So please do come to contactplus.com and check it out. Thanks for listening.